Welcome back to the Rockville campus of Montgomery College in Rockville, Maryland, where once again our final score, the Montgomery College Germantown Griffins 88, the Montgomery College Rockville Knights 77. And Joe and I are pleased to welcome in the winning head coach of the Germantown Griffins, Xavier Joyner. Xavier, thanks for stopping by and congratulations on a great win. Thanks a lot, Michael. Appreciate well, it. Well, Xavier, I want to say that Rockville came out like a house on fire. They came out there hitting a lot of shots there, getting baskets in transition. How was it that you were able to get your team to calm down and claw their way back up so you guys got to leave at halftime? Well, Joe, all season we, we've been kind of playing rushed, and we've been talking lately about being poised, value every possession. And we, I knew coming into this game, once again, it's going to be a crazy war. I mean, we both could play bad the last five games, but this game here, is, as I told Michael earlier in the year, it's, it's Duke versus North Carolina yeah. of, the, of the JUCO. So uh, the guys were able to calm down and did a great job. Xavier, the second half really told the tale for you guys. You, you took the lead right at the end of the first half on Desmond Wade's jump shot to make it 36-34. Second half, you, just, you guys came out like a house on fire, like a steamroller. You, you rolled right over them. You had a very comfortable lead for a good portion of the second half. What was the difference in the second half from the first half? Well, we've been a second half team all year, Mike, Michael. Uh, actually, I, I say a saying of we play the first half to get to the second. So uh, as long as we're hanging in there close, uh, and we took the lead, so the momentum was definitely going our way. I told the guys about, once again, valuing each possession. You know, don't rush. If, if it's not a wide open layup, let's make sure we get a good shot on each possession here. And the guys did a great job of running the offense. Uh, we got a little rush there uh, at the end there with Rockville's pressure, but that's expected. All right, and, and Xavier, two years in a row now you've swept Rockville. What does that mean to you as a coach and your staff, and what does that mean to your players going forward in the season? Oh, uh, Joe, that's a, that's a nice one, but I don't, I don't want to jinx us. <laughs> you see we wore the green today for uh, good luck. But I'm very nervous because I know we'll see this team again in the playoffs to get to the Nationals. So I don't want our guys over-celebrating right now. It's, it's good that we swept these guys the last two years, but – how many years have they swept us? <laughs> so we're trying to get there. <laughs> well, that is for sure. In Rockville, you know, Steve's team, uh, Joe and I were commenting with about 10 minutes to go, it looked like maybe the steam was coming out of their engine. And they looked like maybe they were letting down, but but they didn't. They just kept pumping and pumping and pumping, and they made it, a, made it quite a tight game there at the end. But, of course, you guys took it. Yeah, and actually there was a, a time, one of our timeouts I called – and I told the guys, I said, guys, this team is not going to quit. I mean, Coach Hobson's team's never quit. I've been in this league nine years. I've never seen one of his teams quit. So I knew they were going to play to the very last second. So we matched it, though. Well, that's for sure. And, and Xavier, thank you once again for taking time away from your team to stop by and visit with us. Congratulations on a Congrats. great win. And thank Joe you. and I will be right back with some final stats and our player of the game after this. Welcome back to Courtside on the Rockville campus of Montgomery College. Michael Brown alongside my partner, Joe Thompson, where we just watched the Montgomery College Germantown Griffins take the Montgomery College Rockville Knights 88 to 77. Joe, it was really a tale of two cities here tonight, first half, second half. It sure was, Michael. And Rockville really took it to Germantown at the beginning of the game. They came out like a house on fire. They are making every shot and uh, Germantown was missing a lot, but the tide turned in the middle of the second half, or sorry, middle of the first half, and Germantown was able to bring themselves back into the game, take the lead right before the half, and after they came out of the locker room at halftime, they really turned on the gas and it took it to Rockville, taking the big lead at about 10 minutes left and held on to it for the 11-point uh, victory. Well, they really ramped up their defense, and I think that was a big, big difference in this ball game. Uh, let's take a look at some of the stats from uh, or some of our final stats, Joe. Uh, as you can see, two-point field goals are very even. Rockville actually uh, hit more three-pointers as Germantown didn't hit any, and turnovers were even, but really the stat of the game was the free throw shooting, where Rockville shot 16 of 27. Germantown was a lot more aggressive, got to the line a lot more, and made a lot more of their foul shots, 35 of 46. That stat right there is the story of the game. Germantown missed 19 of them last game. They made a huge percentage of their, their free throw shots today, 
and that's why they won this game. It's absolutely the story of the game. The fact that Rockville made four threes, Germantown nothing. That's a 12-point differential right there, but it was more than made up by that differential in the foul shooting. And, and like you said, what a difference. Xavier Joyner, as he talked to us about in the, in the pregame, he said, listen, we got to do better at the foul line. And boy, did they ever. He's going to be very happy when he sees that stat sheet, I think. And they, they actually had a good number of people who, you know, from guards to big men who really stepped up to the line today. And Brandon Sims was strong from the line, as was John Taylor, the freshman coming in. Um, Dave Carlson. Dave Carlson and Carl Scott. I mean, a lot of these guys really stepped up and, and did a really good job at the free throw line. Well, that brings us to maybe the toughest part of the evening, and that's how do you pick a player of the game after a night like this? But, I mean, we do have to do what we have to do. It, it's true, and it, it, was, it was so hard because Germantown and Rockville, both, both teams had such good team play, good overall play. No, no one player really stood – head and shoulders above any other. But, you know, again, we have to do what we have to do. So tonight we're going we're gonna to pick uh, Davey Rickman as tonight's player of the game. He came in, he came off the bench, big 6'8 body, clogged up the lane, made Rockville adjust a lot of their shots, block a lot of their shots. He, he ended up with 10 points on 4 4 shooting um, and two free throws, five rebounds, five block shots on the night really disrupted Rockville's offensive flow, and that's why he's our, our player of the game. Well, it seemed like every time Rock in the second half especially, every time Rockville went down the lane, there he was. That big body with those big, as you called them, the big windmill arms up in the air, swatting and adjusting and altering shots it's seemingly at will. And not only that, but once they missed those shots, he was there to sweep the board clean, get a good outlet pass so Germantown could run, which they like to do. Played with a lot of enthusiasm, too, as it did all these kids. This was a fantastic game from an effort standpoint from both teams. I don't think any either of the coaches can look at their team and say, man, we could have played harder. No, I don't know how no, that would be possible. No, no doubt they would be laying on the floor still if that was the case. <laughs> that is for sure. So once again, from the Rockville campus of Montgomery College in Rockville, Maryland, our final score, the Montgomery College Germantown Griffins, 88 the Montgomery College Rockville Knights 77. And for all of us here at Montgomery College Television, we take special pride and incredible enjoyment out of bringing you Montgomery College student athletes in action. These kids work hard in the classroom and on the court and playing fields for a chance to play college sports and perhaps progress to a four-year school to continue their academic and athletic career. We love bringing you their stories and we hope you enjoy these games. Thanks for watching, everyone.